Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Kevin Williams Jr. And I'm First Lady Amara Williams. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we invite you to watch our sermons and Bible studies that it may uplift you. And please visit our website, gbwtalbion.org. And remember, we love, love you, you in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name.
that we put before you or went to the throne. Thank you, Lord. We pray for your church on today, yes, Lord. trying times that we're living in. Yes, Lord. That your doctrine will stand strong. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We pray for help in our daily trials and tribulations. Thank you, Lord. Touch our families, our children, our marriages, our jobs. In the name of Jesus Christ, touch our minds, Lord. Yes, Lord. That we be more like you. Yes, sir. And help us, Lord, to truly be blessed. Please. How you intended for your children to be blessed. Yes. We pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Today's sermon topic is You Shall Be Blessed. You Shall Be Blessed. I used this text earlier, the entire chapter 3 in the book of Malachi, in our Sunday school lesson on this morning as we was dealing with preparation. Oftentimes, as I stated, we use Malachi chapter 3, primary verse 8, dealing with tithes and offering. And although, thank you, First Lady, although um, it is a, a section, uh, a portion of this passage of Scripture, um, is more to the actual writing and is dealing more with preparation. If one is not willing to prepare, one is not willing to be successful. I'm not the most organized individual in the world. But I have a certain routine that I stick to that helps me on my day-to-day -day walk uh, with God. And almost immediately when I open my eyes, I thank God for waking me up Amen. this morning. Amen. There's a lot of people yes. on a daily basis that do not wake up. Amen. So if you woke up this morning, you, you bless. For that, you should give God a hand. Thank you. Thank you. I even mentioned, some people know this, maybe even Minister Lamb. A lot of Bible scholars say that Malachi, although it is in the Old Testament, some people believe that it was written during the time of some of the New Testament books. Mm -hmm. so a lot of times when things come to strict commandments, ordinance, or directions from God, we like to say, nah, that's Old Testament. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that no more. The last time I checked that God was the same yesterday, all right, all right. today, okay, okay. and forevermore. Amen. We're living in a time where Things is really strange in really from in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. A lot of things we grew up in the church that we might have took granted for doesn't seem really to exist today. We have a lot of opinions mm -hmm. that infiltrate or penetrate the church. But the only opinion that matters is God's. Amen. And his word is sufficient. Of course, I was in the apostolic church on today. We all have our ideas. We all have our thoughts. But I know that everybody can agree to this. You want to be blessed. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We can disagree on a lot of stuff. When they come to church, but one thing I know about the saints, mm -hmm. everybody <laughs> wants to be blessed. All right, Pastor. Amen. All right, come on. And to be blessed, we have to be in the will of God. Amen. Now, the devil's going to bless his people. Mm -hmm. 
But the devil's blessing is short lived. Amen. How many people is paying attention to this nonsense that Jamie Foxx is going through? Mm. <laughs> do we really want to know for real what he had to do to be successful mm. for that length of time? Jamie Foxx has been successful over 30 years. And although we celebrate him because he's from our community, or at least we think we, he is from, we never thought what did he have to do behind closed doors to withstand that fame and fortune. But God has wrote it down or had writers write down in his word what we have to do to be successful. Amen. What we have to do to be blessed. The problem is not the Bible <laughs> or the writers or what's in the Bible. The problem is do we really want to do what God told us to do? Right. Are we willing to listen to the messenger. Because that's what it says in Malachi chapter 3 verse 1. That he sent a messenger. We pick apart our messengers so much to the end up dead like Martin Luther King or Malcolm X. Amen. We don't appreciate who God gives us right. until ah. they're gone. All right. oh, say, amen. We hate on these people get together, talk about, I'm talking about our family. Right. We talk about our people. Jesus. And then the funeral will come, the cask is landed in front of the church, and we are Jesus, crying and stuff, snot coming down, tears coming down, because we didn't appreciate them while they was here. Awesome. Not at all. We have to put our, ourselves in place so we can be blessed. I always tell my church or anybody I'm talking, my goal is not for Pastor Williams to pull up in his spot at his church in the beans. That's not my vision. My vision is for every one of my members and for that church parking lot right. to be full Amen. of business. Because it does not accomplish me mm. to gain the world right. but lose my soul. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to help the next brother out. I'm trying to help the next sister out. That's why I'm transparent. Some things you know about me and some things you don't. But I'm almost as an open book as it gets. You can ask me questions, talk to me, but my goal, my number one goal, is to help you get to heaven. Yeah. Amen. It's to help you get to heaven. Amen. Now we will do some things in the process, but my number one goal while you're here, trying to help you get, is to make sure that you're blessed. Amen. To preach and teach on that. To preach and teach on the gospel of Jesus Christ. To preach and teach what's in the Bible. To help us get to a place of true freedom. Right. Not the freedom this world is offered. Because they'll celebrate you one day and kill you the next. Amen. Right. Remember Jesus came to town and they were screaming out crying out, Hosea! Hosea the highest! And what happened the next week? They all gathered together. And what people don't understand, the people that killed Jesus was religious. <laughs> there was not people, quote unquote, normal people that didn't believe in God. They didn't believe in Jesus. So they killed him. At least they fought. Praise the Lord. Amen. But how many of us is killing our blessing? Mm. We don't know that the person that we put down might be the person 
that's set up to help us be blessed. The same person that we talk about might be that person that come to give you a check for 10000 to reference you to a job that you want. We don't know that. We have to change our thought process. Malachi was saying in his writings that you should be delightsome and all nations should know you blessed. Delightsome means that when you come in, I ain't going to be tired. I ain't going to be sad to see you coming. <laughs> oh man, here she come. <laughs> oh man, here he come. No, the likes of me that you are have favor amongst men and women. You have favor when you're coming. The Bible talks about it, Deuteronomy. Bless when you're coming. Bless where you're going. Bless in the city. Bless in the field. This is the representation that we should desire of God. The old saints used to say, I can't wait to get to heaven where I can get some milk and honey. Mm -hmm. I used to hear that all the time. When I was Jermaine and Jordan age, I used to hear that all the time. So when we came back from Bible study one night, I mixed milk and honey okay. when my mama went to sleep. Mm -hmm. And it did not taste good. <laughs> At all. <laughs> but that, that was a metaphor. Right. And, but we don't have to wait to heaven to be blessed. Amen. We just got to do what God asks us to do. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I remember we was at uh, Thanksgiving, we was in my father in law church in Muskegon Heights. <clears throat> and he asked Thanksgiving service like 8, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., something like that. So a lot of the kids, even the kids is in college. They want to sleep in. The kids in school, they want to sleep in. Nobody want to get up at 8 a.m. I ain't want to get up and go to church. But all the kids that came to service, he gave them money. You don't know when you're blessing. You don't know what Pastor Williams is going to do. Now my, my job is to teach you the importance of tithing. Not for me. Right? This is God's house, but not even really for the physical house, although we need your contributions for this ministry to continue. A real pastor will break down what it can benefit you right. if, if you pay tithes and off. Benefit you where you can be financial stable before Sister K should get up here and tell you how to Fix your credit report. Because <laughs> that takes money to do somewhere, anywhere. Before she get up here and show you the pros and cons of having credit cards. You already have money in the bank. I want everybody, regardless of opinion, to be blessed. Amen. Do I have a past of things that I've done negative? Sure. But guess what? When I started pastoring here, look at my record. Make mistakes, sure or not. But what have I been trying to do? Help people get to heaven. Amen. <laughs> That's my job. I can't sign off and give you a permission slip that gets you into heaven. Even if you were in a casket, as good as I think I can preach, I can't preach you with that. <laughs> but I can teach you how to get there. If you listen to the message, you will be blessed. If you follow God's will, you will be blessed. See, we put ourselves in positions and give ourselves unrealistic expectation. <laughs> Just based upon, I went to church today. So I'm going to go play my three or four digit. I'm going to play the Powerball because I think it's 1.25 billion. I'm going to play the Mega Millions. That's at 95 million. I went to church, y'all. So I'm going to hit something. See, you see how we try to put it together? It doesn't go together like that. 
that's not the will of God. When you follow God's will, it allows you to be blessed. Amen. When you follow God's word, it allows you to be blessed. You say, Pastor, I'm following God's word. I'm following God's will. I be in church all the time. I say, well, are you alive right now? Yes. <laughs> Do you have a roof over your head? Yes. Do you have a little money? It may not be a lot, but you have a little money, a few dollars in your pocket. Yes. Do you have food at your house? Even if it's just ramen noodles <laughs> and a pack of hot dogs. Yes. Thank you. You're blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people died in this pandemic. And you still here. Hundreds of thousands of people were evicted from the house and the apartment, but you still got shelter. Hundreds of thousands of people, their cars was repossessed, but you still driving around here. God has been good to you before he gives you anything else. Be thankful for what he's done. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm trying to be in a position that I'm so blessed that people that know me is blessed. My marriage is blessed. My children is blessed. My church, your God and your domain, is blessed. The school that my children go to ain't no pedophile teachers. Oh, you're proud and you're today. I repeat, say right now, in the name of Jesus, protect our children, protect our family. You wake up in the bank and you bless. The bank teller and say, I don't know what's going on about you, but you bless. You wake up in your job at work and you bless. All the chaotic stuff that is going Thank you. 